What's up geeks? Alex here. I just got done watching Venom so I'm sure you're dying to know did I think it was any good? Did I think it was any bad? Did I think it was anything in between? Should you watch it? Let's talk about all that spoiler free but before I do that I just want to shout out a couple awesome channels Entertainment Hacker and Rhodes Rants on Star Wars. They are both passionate not to mention entertaining as hell. Every time I watch them I'm thoroughly entertained by their unique comedy and perspectives so after you watch this video like it subscribe to my channel go check them out and subscribe all right let's get on with it so venom is sitting at around 30 percent on rotten tomatoes critics just did not like this movie and i can totally see why 30 percent on rotten tomatoes seems right the story was not great and it had a lot of flaws but look, this was a fun movie, man. I mean, I sat there, I had popcorn in one hand, a soda in the other, and before I knew it, it was all gone because you know what? I, I had a blast. Venom looked great. The CGI on him is just immaculate. But in terms of the symbiote itself, like when, it's, when it doesn't have a host, ah, that is kind of weak. And it kind of reminded me of like, I don't know if you, any of you are familiar with the smoke monster from Lost. Yeah, it just is not that good. The comedy as well. There are some comedy that lands, but the, a lot of the comedy is cringy, man. It, it doesn't feel organic at all. And you'll know what I'm talking about because most of the comedy involves Eddie Brock's interaction with Venom, right? And then let's talk about Eddie Brock. You know, Tom Hardy is a solid, solid actor, you know, and I do hear, oh, you know, by, especially by, you know, movie snobs and critics uh tom hardy is this great actor uh you know i don't even know if he's a cameo uh a academy blah, blah. hold on academy award nominated or winning actor or not i don't know but they make it sound that way look i've seen him in a few movies the dark knight rises lawless and this other movie called lock and, and one more other movie i can't even think of what movie that is but He's a solid actor, right? I just think that his portrayal of Eddie Brock didn't quite fit for me because he played him as this like really awkward loser of a guy, but at the same time, he's this investigative reporter and he has this hot ass lawyer girlfriend in Michelle Williams, who by the way, if you've heard any other reviewers, plenty of them are saying, oh my God, Michelle Williams was wasted. Get the hell out of here, man. Look, what concern is it of anybody whether, whether a director wastes an actor or not? Like, who cares? What, would you have been more satisfied if you had a, um, a much less talented actress play that role? Get over it. So yeah, you know, the interactions with Eddie Brock and uh, Venom, they were good. Like I said, though, there was a lot of comedic moments that just didn't land. And, you know, more often than not, you're kind of laughing at the fact that how terrible it is. You're laughing at the movie, not with the movie. Um, and hey, man, this Venom can easily fit in with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. If... The MCU decides to go ahead and make a movie with this Venom. It would be great. He has such a good look, man. That that kind of slimy, wet look. That That's great. And what about the villain? So they used Riz Ahmed for a weak villain, right? You know what? The actor doesn't concern me. What concerns me more is that the villain was really weak. And I mean, this is not a spoiler, but you all know that the main villain in this movie is another symbiote. What I didn't like is that they actually used this villain's name. Maybe a lot of you are not going to care about that, but I, I just thought it was a little weird that they did that. Another weakness this movie had was the reason why Venom decides to uh, be a superhero in this movie. It's, it's not convincing. It doesn't feel organic. It's, it's hard to buy. So with all this said, I'm going to go ahead and say... Because of all the nuances, it was a below average comic book movie, but it was a fun one. All right. And of course, I'm sure a lot of you all heard about the after credit scenes. 
that was cool, but not the after credit scene that sets up a sequel. That is weak. I'll say that. And all right, let's get a little bit, just a little bit into spoilers. Um, okay, check this out. There's a point. There's a part where Venom tells Eddie Brock after he they just both climbed a tall ass skyscraper and they're at the top of the skyscraper. He tells him to jump. As you're watching the movie, you'll see that had Eddie jumped off of the building, Venom, the symbiote, would have kicked in. He would have maybe thrown out one of those black tentacles and, you know, he would have hung off a building or something, right? There was kind of an emergency. He had to jump. Well, the ne the very next scene cuts to Eddie Brock pressing an elevator and then you just hear Venom going, pussy. That was funny. That was funny. But it just didn't feel organic. And then the, the reason why, um, what the re the whole reason why Venom wanted to end up staying on Earth was now this is his quote. He says, "I'm beginning to like you. You and me are not that different. They're not that different, man. Venom is this badass assassin type of a thing, right? He, he <laughs> I mean, do I really got to say, oh, he's confident, right?" Where Eddie Brock is not. Where the hell are the similarities? That, that, that you know that those are a couple things. Second, he tells him, "I'm really liking this place." We didn't see anything in the movie that that showed us that Venom liked Earth, okay? Because the whole point of the movie was that the other symbiotes were somehow gonna get back into a rocket ship, okay? The one, the original ones that brought them to Earth, and they were gonna get all their other their species from their planet and basically take over earth okay and venom decides nah i'm not gonna let that happen so you know let's go kill riot which all of a sudden i guess the, the you know riot i wish that we first kind of got some introduction to him a little bit of background to where we knew why they called him riot um you know what i'm gonna call it there guys i'm gonna call it there like i said it's a below average movie, but it's fun. And this Venom could definitely fit in an MCU movie with Spider-Man. But only if the MCU handles this, man. Because Sony cannot handle this. They cannot. They they just, they got to keep their hands off of this stuff, man. They got to. All right, guys, I had enough. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe.